front right now, but to be honest, um, it's uh, not desperately cold. We haven't got a lot of sunshine, so it doesn't feel desperately mild, but it could be colder. Certainly, it's uh, not what we had so far this winter. This is the scene. The satellite picture shows all the cloud across the UK. There's a lot of mist and hail fog around as well, but there have been some breaks in the cloud, and we are forecasting more brightness in one or two places, for example, eastern Scotland to the northeast of England as well, around parts of Lincolnshire and the Midlands. But even if the clouds do break overhead, the chances are you may be stuck in the mistiness. There's a lot of moisture around, so it'll remain a little bit on the grey side as we go through the day. Seven or eight degrees, these are the sort of temperatures. The winds aren't particularly strong as well, so as I say, it doesn't feel too bad at all if you do get a little bit of uh, brightness up. So into Wales, a similar story as well. Eight degrees in Cardiff, cloudy skies, some hill fog in one or two places. Well, wouldn't be surprised if you got a little bit of drizzle around as well. That's the case as well across Northern Ireland here. Temperatures of around nine Celsius. OK, so that was the uh, afternoon. How about the evening hours? Well, generally speaking, it is actually going to be a frost-free night, especially across the south of the UK, where we've got the cloudy, misty conditions. But where skies do clear across northeastern England and Scotland especially, temperatures all drop to to an air frost, not a desperate air frost, but uh, chilly enough, around zero degrees, so perhaps a bit of iciness first thing. And then tomorrow we start the day on the same notes. It's cloudy and it's grey, but by the middle of the afternoon we're expecting rain to start to fall across southwestern England and possibly into Wales as well. Most of us will have a dry day tomorrow, again, mostly cloudy. Now I want you to remember where this weather front is, this rain. This is middle of the day on Tuesday. Now I'm going to show you an air mass map. This shows us where the cold air is across Europe. So we've got cold air across eastern parts of Europe. We've got warmer air towards the UK. During the early hours of Wednesday, our rain front, our weather front will be approaching southwestern Britain. As it approaches us, cooler air at the same time will be drifting in, or colder air, from eastern parts of Europe. And where these two air masses clash and where we have that weather front, remember the rain, well, cold and wet weather translates to a potential snow across the hills of Wales, the Midlands, and possibly in the London area. Remember, this is a forecast. This is never, ever, ever, ever a certainty, okay? So we're watching out for this area of weather. We could see possibly two to five centimetres of snow, especially across the hills. So the advice from the Met Office is to stay tuned for the, um, uh, the latest updates on the snow. That's it for me.